everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about something a little different. Um, if you know me at all, if you've seen anything that I've done before from a video standpoint, you know that I'm a little weird and I'm a little creative. I don't like to just go buy a thing from a store that does one certain thing for that purpose because I find especially with overlanding stuff, there is definitely an overlanding tax, right? Like if you put the name overlanding on it, for example, there's an overlanding pen that's like hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. Um, so as soon as you put the term overlanding on something, then it becomes really expensive. So I try to find stuff that is not really intended for a specific use, not really intended for overlanding. And then I try to find creative ways to use those, repurpose those items for overlanding. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about one of those items that I'm actually really excited about, like kind of too excited, more excited than I should be. Um, it is a four pack of these little guys. So this is basically a giant super strong magnet with a little piece of metal on it that spins and a carabiner on the end. Now why I'm excited about this and what I am envisioning using this for is a variety of things. So um, one of those things may be my awning. So my awning has these S-shaped hooks at the end of it and it's 180 awning, it's an OVS 180 awning. I'll put a tag up here to the video where I talk about that in a little more detail. Um, but at the ends it has these straps that come out with these S-hooks and you've got to kind of find a place on the truck like on your roof rack or something it's never really where you want it to attach. You kind of have to just find whatever works and then attach it. Not a huge problem, right? But just a little inconvenient. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking is this, assuming that it's strong enough, I've not tested to see if it's strong enough yet, so I will report back and let you know about that because this is a pretty extreme use. Um, but with this, you could put it wherever you want on your vehicle, right? Atta throw this thing up there, attach it, and boom, put your S-hook through the end of this carabiner and you've got an attachment point wherever you want that's metal, right? So that's kind of one of the thoughts that I had regarding this product. Um, another thing that I was thinking is, you know, I will hang up very frequently. I've got a strap, basically, and I'll put a link in the description below to this thing that has loops on it. It's almost kind of like a, uh, like a hammock uh, tree strap, but with loops on it. And you can use that for, like, hanging, drying, like, pots and stuff to dry them out. Um, but one of the problems that I always have is I've got to find some weird way to, like, attach it to, like, a tree and my roof rack, right? So there's never, like, a great way to attach it to a bunch of things. Um, so, again, with this thing, I can slap it on one end of the truck and string one, you know, put another one on the other end of the truck, string my thing and just let it hang against the truck. Or, you know, put it up on top of the hatch or on the roof and over to a tree. Or, there's a million different ways you can use these things, right? So that was kind of my thought with this was just anywhere that you might need to attach something temporarily to your rig, uh, this would be a good option to be able to do that. And it just gives you flexibility, right? Like. It's small, so I like that. It doesn't take up a ton of room, so I've got four of these, but they're very super small footprint, but I can use them for a variety of things. There's a million different things that you could think of to use this for. You could just use this because it's a carabiner on its own to hang up pots. If you just wanted to you know, attach these to the inside of your rooftop tent or something, if it's metal, you could do that and hang stuff inside your rooftop tent. You could you know, use it up high on like the roof line of your vehicle inside to hang stuff inside of it if you needed to. Um, you know, if you sleep inside of a vehicle, let's say you sleep inside of the bed of your truck, you could slap this on the side in the back and use it to hang your hat on. Or, you know what I mean? There's a million different uses for these things. And they were about, I think I want to say they were about 12 bucks. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. So if you're looking for something like this, they were very inexpensive. Um, but so I just am picturing so many uses for these things, right? And I'm going to take you out to the truck here in a second. I'm going to slap this on, just kind of show you how strong they are to give you a little bit of an idea and some more information on them. So it was half video review, but also like half get your brain juices flowing, right? So that you could figure out some uses where this might make sense for you. And maybe this is a product that's helpful for you. Um, so again, let's head out to the truck really quick. I will show you how strong these things are. I'll kind of hang it on the truck and I'll see, you know, how much force it takes to pull them off. Um, so you know if they're super weak or super strong, they should be pretty strong, I think. Um, but so let's go do that really quick. All right, guys, so as I mentioned, we are going to give the magnetic carabiners a shot here on the truck. I'm actually kind of worried because they're really, really strong. <laughs> I'm kind of worried that they're going to slap onto the truck and uh, maybe not come off. So I guess... This is me learning and helping you guys out, right? So let's give it a shot here. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, so that's really strong. Um, okay, pulling straight away. <sighs> okay, I'm not I'm not messing around for the camera here. Like, <sighs> that's really strong. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's like, you almost can't pull it straight off. Let's, let's see if I can actually video it attaching here. Okay. So you got to be a little careful. If you have a newer vehicle and you want to use these things, you may want to be a little careful when you attach them. Um, you might even want to put like some cloth or something ugh, 
in between them and the vehicle <laughs> so you don't scratch your paint because that could definitely be a concern. But I tell you what, if you're looking for strength, if you're looking for something that you can actually use to hang something somewhat heavy from the side of your vehicle or attach, you know, this is my awning here, right? So there's the OVS awning. Um, and the way that opens is it basically opens as a square in the middle and it has triangles on the end, right? And those triangles come out and then there's a strap that goes from that. And usually what I do is I go all the way around to the other side of the roof rack over there and I attach it over there. But again, that's a huge hassle. It also gets hung up on my tailgate a lot. So like imagine if I could just slap this on right there, right? And then I could use this to attach my strap to. So instead of having to go up and around and dealing with catching on all this stuff and, you know, messing with all that. And then when it attaches down here, then it's kind of in the way of the rooftop tent. When I put the ladder up here, it's kind of in the way there. It's getting caught on this hatch. So whenever I open and close the hatch, it loosens that strap up. Um, you know, you could just use this and attach it wherever you want. So I'm pretty, oh God. <laughs> oh, okay, that's on there really good. I'm pretty confident that that would hold, that would definitely hold a strap for an awning. Um, so, Again, just wanted to show you guys that. Tons and tons of cool applications for this. I wonder if it'll stick to my rooftop tent. Nope, okay, it's aluminum. I didn't think it would. So, um, so yeah, you've got to have metal, right? If you've got a steel body vehicle like most of us do, then you should have plenty of attachment points to use these things. Um, but so again, I'm just thinking there are going to be so many different applications that I could use this for. Oh my God. So it comes in a four pack. So you get several of them in the box. And again, super inexpensive. So if you're looking for something like that, if you have sort of exhausted options for how to attach things to your vehicle, how to run lights, you know, for example, when you're at camp and set up for the day, if you don't have a good way to run them through your awning, that would be a good option. Um, so again, just wanted to share that idea and this product with you guys. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, so as you saw, they're pretty strong, right? I think these could be used for a number of different uses. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas, right? Hopefully it gives you a good idea of how these things work, uh, you know, how strong they are, the size of them, and gives you some ideas for how you could potentially use them. Um, but if you are interested in those, again, down in the description below, there are links to this as well as some of the other products that I mentioned. Feel free to click through those and go check them out. Uh, I hope that helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas for how to make your overlanding setup better. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you aren't already, make sure to click that subscribe button below. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. Um, I drop a couple videos a week, pretty much anything to do with overlanding, Nissan Xterras because that's what I drive, uh, gear reviews, tons and tons of overlanding content. So if you're into that stuff, I would love to have you as a subscriber. There's also links to Facebook, Instagram, and my podcast. I do a weekly podcast. So if you're into any of that stuff too, I'd love to have you join the conversation. And uh, there's also links to the store, to merchandise. I've got some patches and stickers and just cool overlanding stuff like that. So definitely check that out as well. Um, but so again, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful and we will see you guys next time.